I need water. Then I'm much like, then I'm much. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I'm going to be sharing a giant grocery haul with you guys. So we did our huge stock up at Woodman's which is one of our favorite places to go grocery shopping. The reason we like it is because they have pretty much every single product that we like to buy, all the different brands that we like and they just have such a good variety. So we got a lot of stuff today. We got a lot of new stuff and I'm excited to go through it. I'm gonna try to get through the produce pretty quickly because it's not too much actually. We've been out of groceries for a while and we've just kind of been making trips to the store to get produce so a lot of things I didn't have to get for that but everything else. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Let's get started. First things first, we have some mushrooms. So I get these every time. I like to use mushrooms with my eggs on pizza and pasta, pretty much anything. Sometimes I'll do a veggie mix with it, but I'm always looking for more zero point foods to use and ones that go with everything. And that's how mushrooms are to me. Same with zucchini. I like to get a good amount of zucchini. I use some for my veggie mix that I make, which is pepper, onion, and zucchini. But then I also like to use it when I'm making a recipe and maybe need like one extra veggie to throw in. Or if we're having a pasta dish and I need something on the side, I can quickly roast up a zucchini and it makes a good veggie side if we don't have any vegetables. Speaking of veggie mix, I got some bell peppers. So I got some yellow and orange. They were just on sale. So those are the ones that I got. I got some regular onions also for veggie mix and for different recipes if I'm making like tacos or something. Sometimes I like to make a green bean dish that has a can of green beans, a cut up onion, and a can of mushrooms or fresh mushrooms. And then I just cook it and add some Parmesan cheese and it is our favorite vegetable side dish. So needed onions for that. Then I got some potatoes because we haven't had potatoes in a while in general. And I got this new butter powder that I want to try using as an ingredient in mashed potatoes. So I'm going to make some mashed potatoes with these red potatoes. It's about two points for the serving of these, but it'll just depend on the recipe when I make it. I'll probably use some cashew milk, maybe some cheese, and then some of that butter powder. I got some bananas. So this is just for protein shakes and for Adam to take to work. It's another good zero point food for us. And then I got some asparagus, which is one of my favorite vegetables to have as a side. We've actually been really liking it in eggs. So if I have leftovers, I mix it in a breakfast skillet. But usually what I do is I'll just roast it in the oven and then it's a side again with like pasta, burgers, any type of meal that we're having. Okay, so that's it for the produce. Then I got some eggs, which I was excited because these are my favorite, these pasteurized Vital Farms eggs. I like to get them pretty much any store that has them when I go now. And they had the 18 pack, so I was excited to get that. And that's just one of my favorite zero point foods. I've been making more hard boiled eggs lately because they're a quick and easy snack. And I really like deviled eggs, so I've been making those more. But then I also use them as scrambled eggs for breakfast a lot. Moving on to some dairy products. I got some yogurt. Every time now when I buy yogurt, I always buy my regular container like this, which is what I use to make my yogurt bowls. So this is the Dan and Light and Fit Vanilla Greek Yogurt. It is 90 calories for the serving. It's got 14 grams of protein and 10 carbs. And that's a bigger serving than I usually use actually because that's a three point serving. So what I do is I usually just weigh it out with my scale for a two point serving because that's like the perfect amount for a base for my yogurt bowl. But I've also been buying these caramel apple pie because this has just become my favorite flavor out of all the different flavors that they offer. So I always buy myself a few of these as well because then I can just have them as a quick snack throughout the day. Again, it's a really good source of protein. It's quick and easy and it's really good. So two points for these containers, 80 calories. They have nine carbs and 12 grams of protein. I needed some grated Parmesan cheese. So I just got this Crystal Farms Parmesan and Romano cheese. I use this for that green bean dish that I was talking about or pasta dishes. I just use this for a bunch of different things, usually if I'm making like an Italian dish or something, but I always have some grated Parmesan on hand. Even when I'm doing like panko crusted things, I love to mix in a little bit of Parmesan with it and that's my favorite to use. Then I also got some shredded Parmesan. So we are like completely out of cheese. I had to stock up on every type and so that's why I got some of this. This is just another one that I like to always have on hand because it works so well in different recipes, but also with vegetables. For the serving of an ounce, it's 110 calories. It's got eight grams of fat one gram of fiber, one carb, and eight grams of protein, and it's two points on WW, which seems lower point than normal. I need to double check that, but for Parmesan, I feel like two points is lower. I feel like usually it's four, and I don't usually use a whole serving, but we'll see. Then I was excited to see these. I don't know if I've gotten the reduced fat Sargento in these flavors. So these are two points a slice, which is usually ideal. I like the two point slices from Trader Joe's and usually it's kind of hard to find reduced fat cheese other places, but Woodman's usually has it. So 
I have some provolone here. It is, like I said, two points a slice, 50 calories. It's got three and a half grams of fat and five grams of protein. And then the medium cheddar is also two points, 60 calories, four grams of fat and six grams of protein. So those I'll use for a bunch of different things, whether it's breakfast sandwiches or burgers or just like a lunch meat sandwich. Sometimes I even just rip up pieces or chop them up and add them to bowls if I don't have other cheese. But I also got some shredded cheese because we needed that too. I got sharp cheddar in the shredded cheese and then I also got mozzarella. These are both three points for the serving of a quarter cup. The cheddar is 90 calories for that serving, five grams of fat, two carbs, and seven grams of protein and then the mozzarella is 70 calories. It's got five grams of fat, two carbs, and seven grams of protein. These again are just used for a bunch of different meals, whether it's pasta, pizza, eggs. I just always need shredded cheese and I just always keep it on hand. Okay, the last cheese I got, I think, hopefully, this is feta. So this is the reduced fat feta. I usually like to get reduced fat if I can find it because I feel like it tastes the most similar to normal. The fat free is okay and I'll use it sometimes, but I do think that the reduced fat is just a little bit better. For the serving of, oh my gosh, this label's always so small, I always forget about that. For the serving of an ounce, it's 45 calories, one and a half grams of fat, two carbs, one gram of sugar, and seven grams of protein. And it's one point for that serving, so that's a good low point option, especially for bowls. Then I got some light sour cream, so this is just an option for whenever I make like burrito bowls or I don't know, I don't really use sour cream that much. It's pretty much just if I do like a Mexican type dish or something, but for this, for two tablespoons, it's 35 calories, two and a half grams of fat, one carb, and two grams of protein and it is two points for two tablespoons. Okay, then another yogurt. I just got the Chobani Greek yogurt. It's their non-fat plain. Zero points on WW. It's a really good high protein option. It's got 90 calories for that serving, six carbs, six grams of sugar, and 16 grams of protein. And I use this for two ingredient dough. I use it to make different sauces, chicken salad, tuna salad. I pretty much just use it here and there for different recipes. And Chobani is just my favorite brand that we've tried out of all the different Greek yogurt brands. I feel that it works the best with the two ingredient dough. So that's why I got that, it's zero points. I got some Greek yogurt tzatziki dip. So this is zero points for the serving of two tablespoons. It's got 15 calories, one carb, one gram of protein. And I'm wondering if it's similar to the one that I usually get from Meyer. It looks very similar, almost a little bit more on the liquidy side, but I think that this will be really good in a Greek bowl, which I haven't made one of those in a while. So I've got the ingredients and I will definitely be making those. Then Adam picked out this. So we've tried, I feel like almost every flavor of these sauces at this point, but he hasn't seen this one before. So this is just called heat. And I don't know how hot it'll be, but I guess we'll have to test it out. It's three points for the serving of two tablespoons. And it's just a dip made from almonds. So for that serving, it's 90 calories, nine grams of fat. It's got two carbs and two grams of protein. And he usually just likes to have this as a snack with chips or crackers or pretzels. Okay, then another dip we got. This is the Ithaca hummus, and it's the collaboration with Grillo's Pickles. This is one of my favorite hummuses, and especially for a pickle hummus, I think this is my favorite pickle hummus. But it is one point for two tablespoons. It's got 45 calories, two grams of fat, five carbs, one gram of fiber, and two grams of protein. And it is so good on a snack plate. It's good on wraps or burgers even. I feel like it's got the perfect flavor for a burger. And it's a good low point spread that's still like kind of creamy, so it works really well. I really like this one. I like all of Ithaca's hummuses, but I think that the pickle one is my favorite. And then speaking of Grillo's, I also got some Grillo's pickle chips. So they're just like regular pickle chips. I prefer these out of every type of pickle just because, first of all, this is my favorite brand. They're so good and fresh, but I just like the chips because they work well on sandwiches and burgers, and that's usually what I use pickles for the most or just snacking on them. They're five calories for the serving and zero points. Okay, moving on to some meat, I guess. We've got some turkey pepperoni. So we just buy this whenever we run out and we're pretty much out of it. I love to use this for pizza. Also like pizza wraps or any type of pizza recipe, but it's their turkey pepperoni. It's two points for the serving, but sometimes I just use a one point serving, especially if I'm making a pizza with a bunch of toppings. But for the serving of 17 slices and two points, it's 70 calories, four grams of fat, and it's got nine grams of protein. It's a good higher protein option, and I think that the flavor is good. It doesn't give me heartburn like normal pepperoni does, so that's another bonus with it, but I really like it. Okay, we got some sausages. So these, first of all, we really like. We tried them in a snack review, and they are the chicken jalapeno cheddar 
sausages from Johnsonville. So these are three points for the link and I can't remember, I don't think they were that spicy, but they're really good in two ingredient dough and usually I do like the mini bites with them. So I cut one of these into four pieces and then wrap each piece in dough and it is our favorite appetizer to have. So that's what I'm gonna be making with them this time. I also like to have them in eggs. They're really good as a sausage and eggs. But anyway, one link is 100 calories and three points on WW. It's six grams of fat, two carbs, and nine grams of protein. It's chicken, so it's got more protein and we like the flavor of these. Then I also got these chicken sausages, which we haven't tried this flavor yet and I'm super excited. The brand is Gilbert's and one thing I like about these is that they come individually wrapped like this. Sometimes with sausage, it's hard to go through them all at once like we just go through them slowly sometimes and I just love that these aren't all in one package but anyway besides the point the flavor is sweet pepper and onion I think that sounds so good they are 100 calories for one link and three points on WW it's five grams of fat one carb and 12 grams of protein for one and I think that I'll probably use these I don't know honestly for pasta for eggs maybe even for pizza but I'm excited to try them then Adam just needed a little bit of lunch meat for work, so he just got a regular thing of turkey breast. It's one point for the serving of two ounces. For that serving, it's 50 calories, one gram of fat, two carbs, one gram of sugar, and nine grams of protein. So he just puts this on bread with mustard and lettuce usually. It's his sandwich every day pretty much, and that's what he prefers. Then I got some imitation crab. So I like to get the stick style like this, and they had a few brands, but this has just been my favorite, the Simply Surimi Transocean. I really have been liking it when we get this one. For the serving of two pieces, which is like two of these, it is two points on WW, 70 calories. It's got nine carbs, four grams of sugar, and nine grams of protein. I like to use these for so many recipes. We just really like imitation crab in general for pasta or for bowls, or if I'm doing like an appetizer night, I'll do like a crab salad or make crab rangoons or something like that. So this is a good thing to have in the fridge. I'm feeling good about all the different stuff that we have because I'm just thinking of all these different meals that we can make and it feels good to actually have food stocked up because then I'm much less likely to want to get takeout food. I still might want it, but it's easier to say no to getting takeout when we have all this food here. But anyway, I got some turkey. So this is the 99% lean ground turkey. It's zero points for the serving. 120 calories, one gram of fat, and it's got 28 grams of protein. So very high in protein. I like to use this for taco meat and burgers or sometimes meatballs. And then I also got a three pound container of this 93% lean ground turkey. So this one isn't zero points like the 99, but it still is a really good option. It's a high protein option. It's four points for the serving of four ounces. And I still do like the same types of things with it. So I'll make either ground taco meat or even like a pasta sauce with it or burgers. For the serving of four ounces, it's 170 calories, eight grams of fat, and it's got 22 grams of protein. Okay, then I was excited that I saw a two pack of these because it was cheaper than just getting one, but we're gonna be making a big batch of breakfast sandwiches. So we needed to grab some of these. I think I'm gonna make some for myself and then also add them for work. But these are 100 calories for one and they're only two points on WW. It's one gram of fat, 26 carbs, eight grams of fiber, and four grams of protein. And they make really good breakfast sandwiches or just toast if you wanna spread things on them. I honestly always forget that these are only two points and I'm gonna start getting them more because even as like a breakfast when I make scrambled eggs and then have one of these with like some date spread or something, it's so filling and just a really good option. So I really like these. They're just the light multi-grain English muffins. Okay, I have think I've only seen these at Woodman's but they are so good. We liked them so much last time that we got them. So. The brand is Angelic Bakehouse and they are sprouted grain pizza crust. The pack comes with two and when we made them last time, Adam and I each just made our own pizza. So an entire crust is 10 points, which really isn't bad. I think last time we just did some tomato sauce, fresh basil and some veggies and then a little cheese and then really all you have to track is the crust and the cheese. Even though it's 10 points for the whole thing, it's a big serving and it's really filling, but it's also really good. Anyway, it baked up perfectly. It's 140 calories for a quarter of the crust and two and a half grams of fat. It's got 25 carbs, five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and six grams of protein. So I highly recommend these if you see them. I think they have smaller ones too, but they are also vegan, dairy-free, soy-free, and nut-free, and just a really good option. We really like these, and I wish I saw these more places, but I'm excited to make pizzas with them again. Then I got some extreme wellness tortillas. So these are one point for one tortilla. They're 60 calories, one and a half grams of fat, 16 carbs, 12 grams of fiber, and four grams of protein. And we also got the La Banderita carb counter. So these are also a point for a tortilla. 
60 calories, one and a half grams of fat, 15 carbs, 11 grams of fiber, and three grams of protein. These are both really good options for breakfast burritos, chicken wraps, any type of wrap or anything that you're making, quesadillas. I think these work better as quesadillas than these do, just how they cook on the stove. And these I feel like taste a little bit more like a regular tortilla, but both of them are good. We like to get both because they're just good options and it kind of mixes things up. And we definitely needed more of these because we like to have wraps a lot. Then Adam needed some cold brew. So this is the cold brew he gets. It's just the unsweet black. It's zero points for the serving. And he likes to add skinny syrup and sometimes like cashew milk or stuff like that to it. And then I also got some cashew milk. So this is one point for the cup if you use a full cup. If you use a half cup or less, it's zero points. So a lot of times when I add it to recipes, I don't have to track it. But if I'm using it in a protein shake, I usually do. So for the cup serving, it's 25 calories, two grams of fat, one carb, and one gram of protein. Okay, then I got some shredded hash brown potatoes. So I've just been using these so much. They're so convenient for breakfast and they cook up really easily. I like to cook them for a few minutes and then add some eggs and some type of protein and veggie. And then I have a full breakfast skillet for usually only like three to five points. The serving that I use is usually one point or two points. It just depends how hungry I am. But for two third cup, it's 70 calories. It's got 15 carbs, two grams of fiber and two grams of protein. Then, okay, I've been struggling to find these places, so I was excited to see them at Woodman's. I honestly thought that they discontinued making them. These are the Green Giant Riced Veggies, and it's the Cauliflower Sweet Potato Mix. So I've still been able to find just the cauliflower one and like the cauliflower broccoli, but I haven't seen the sweet potato. And the thing I like about this is that I just feel like it has a little bit more to it. It's a little bit more filling, and I like the texture of it better, especially when I use it for recipes like fried rice or Spanish style rice. So we like to have this stocked up in the freezer, and I haven't been able to buy it for a while. So I was happy to see it. It's usually like one point for the serving, but I add it to recipes So then I'll usually calculate it when I make that we haven't gotten a bird's eye pasta in a while And we like to get their mac and cheese. We haven't tried the penne one I don't think though, but it's pretty much the same thing I think so for the serving which is one and a quarter cup and there's two and a half servings in it It is five points on WW. It's 160 calories six grams of fat It's got 18 carbs one gram of fiber two grams of sugar and eight grams of protein And a lot of times this is just a really convenient and quick side dish that we can have It is pasta made from lentils and zucchini So it's a little bit of extra veggie the cheese sauce is usually pretty good and we just pop it in the microwave and heat it up so we like to have this for quick and easy dinners when I don't feel like cooking or don't have time to, and it's just a convenient mac and cheese option. I got some Bibigo mini wontons. So these are the chicken and vegetable dumplings. I like these because they're mini and you can either air fry them or cook them on the stove. And either way, they're really good. But for the serving of 13 pieces, it's six points on WW. So they're kind of similar to the ones from Trader Joe's, the chicken cilantro ones, but they are higher in points. For that serving though, it's 230 calories, five grams of fat, 31 carbs, three grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and 13 grams of protein. I like to use these as a side. Anytime we do any type of like Chinese food or something like that, I also like to add them to bowls sometimes. So like I'll have a rice bowl with some edamame and veggies and then I'll just add some of these, especially if I don't have a meat on hand, they work really well to add some protein. Okay, this was a giant bag. It was only $3 and it was on sale. For some reason, I think Woodman's gets some extra stuff from Sam's Club after they don't sell it, like some of the Sam's Club clearance, because we've gotten things there before that are Members Mark brand, and I swear I saw this at Sam's Club before, but for three bucks, we couldn't pass it up. We really want to try it. It is Tattooed Chef, which we really like that brand, and it's Mexican-style street corn. It's got roasted corn off the cob, coated in sauce made with sour cream, chili powder, and a dash of lime. It is 180 calories for a cup, eight grams of fat, 21 carbs, five grams of fiber, eight grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. And it's two points for that serving on WW. So I'm excited to try this. I think this will be a really quick and easy side dish or a really good ingredient that we can add to bowls. And hopefully it's really good. Okay, Adam was excited that he found these because he always likes to have his Kodiak pancakes and waffles for breakfast. He usually likes to add like some nuts and more or peanut butter spread on them. But they had these new ones today that are flapjacks and they are little cubs. So it's mini pancakes, they're buttermilk, and it's only five points for the serving of 11 mini flapjacks. It is 180 calories for that serving, two and a half grams of fat, it's got 32 carbs, five grams of fiber, six grams of sugar, and eight grams of protein. And actually, I'm sorry, I'm gonna open them really quick. I wanna see if it's all just like one big bag. Oh, it is. <laughs> so we could even make like mini McGriddles with these. 
But anyway, we're gonna try these out and see what he thinks. They're probably just the same as the regular size ones, but he was excited to see something new. Then with that, we also got some of these chicken sausages. So the brand is Applegate. They're chicken and sage breakfast sausages. And I got these because I think they'll be perfect with our breakfast sandwiches that we make. They are two points for a patty, 70 calories, five grams of fat, one carb, one gram of sugar, and five grams of protein. I also got some true fru because I haven't gotten this one in a while. I have not seen the dark chocolate with raspberries. I always find the milk chocolate and this one's my favorite. So I was happy to see these and grab a bag of them. They're 90 calories for the serving of about four to five pieces or an ounce. It's five grams of fat, 10 carbs, one gram of fiber, eight grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. And it is four points for that serving. And these are just one of my favorite sweet treats to have. And honestly, what I like to do is just grab like one or two at a time, especially like after breakfast or lunch, if I want something sweet, just a couple of these is perfect and so sweet and delicious. Then it's been really nice to have some frozen peppers and onions in the freezer. So I've been buying the bag from Trader Joe's and I figured why not just check at Woodman's. And of course they had some. So this is just a three pepper and onion blend. It's pretty much like a frozen veggie mix that I like to make. And I'm just gonna keep this in the freezer freezer for whenever I don't have a veggie mix made, usually for my eggs. I don't usually like to reheat it and use it in bowls because it is a little bit more on the soggy side, but I feel like it works well in eggs. I don't know, maybe I'll try it and see how it is in a bowl, but it's just convenient when I don't have a veggie mix made. I've been trying to find more chicken options that are just like quick and easy. So black and chicken. I finally got this. It's been so long since I've gotten this and we kind of burned ourselves out of it, but it is just such a good zero point option, honestly. It's 110 calories for three ounces. It's got three grams of fat, one carb, and 20 grams of protein. And like I said, it's zero points. To me, it tastes like restaurant chicken. I always think that when I taste it, like as if you were to get like a restaurant chicken wrap or something. So good. It's got a kick to it. Sometimes it's like way spicy. Sometimes it's not too crazy. It's just a good option to have and I'm excited to eat it again. Hopefully I'm not still burned out. I'm gonna have to try it on a wrap and see, but I'm excited to have it. Then I also found these. They're just plain grilled chicken strips. I thought that this would just be another good option to have on hand. They're chicken breast strips and it's 100 calories for three ounces, two grams of fat, two carbs, and 18 grams of protein. And for some reason with this one specifically, I was just thinking of making chicken Caesar wraps, which I don't have Caesar dressing, but I have everything else. So I might do some chicken wraps with ranch dressing that'll be similar but i just thought the grilled chicken would be good with that we needed some more ghee spray so this is just one of my favorite cooking sprays if i'm not using olive oil i like to use this but especially when i'm making like garlic bread and stuff i don't even use butter anymore i really just need like a small spray of this on the bread then i put a little cheese and garlic and like garlic salt or something and then i'll do like one more quick spray and it gives it a really good buttery flavor and like buttery consistency but without adding a bunch of points we needed some more light mayonnaise so i just got this brand for some reason the craft brand is just my favorite out of all we've tried and so this is just the one i get it is one point for the serving of a tablespoon 35 calories three grams of fat and this is something that i don't use all the time but again it's something that i just need to have for recipes every once in a while so it's nice to have one on hand then we go through taco bell sauce so quickly it's crazy i use the mild and then Adam uses the fire and we just use it anytime we do like tacos or enchiladas or bowls. It's just a convenient and good zero point sauce option. I got a can of tomatoes. This is just for when I make homemade salsa and I just had made it. So I just wanted to get another can so I have it ready because it seems like every time I wanna make that salsa, I'm like, don't have all the stuff on hand. And so I just always wanna make sure I have the tomatoes ready for when I do want it. Okay, I was happy that they had these. So this is the Palmini brand. It's the Hearts of Palm lasagna noodles and I'm gonna need to get ricotta cheese but these last in the pantry anyway so it'll be good but I'm gonna make a big thing of hearts of palm lasagna that's one of our favorite meals especially me I feel like that's like my one of my all-time favorite dinners that I make and Adam likes the linguine better or the other fettuccine or whatever but either way it's really good it's really simple to throw together and this is zero points 20 calories for the serving it's got four carbs two grams of fiber and one gram of protein and there's three servings in each pack so that's what I'm gonna be using those for. Such an awesome zero point option. To me, it tastes the most like artichoke or asparagus, but it definitely isn't just like regular pasta or anything, but it works really well. Then speaking of regular pasta, I got some carbonata. So I love al dente. I love all the pasta that they have, especially this one actually lately. This one is just really good for like red sauce and stuff, but also I've done it with white sauce too. 
but then I also like their fettuccine. For the fettuccine, actually for both of them, it's the same. It's 180 calories for the serving, one and a half grams of fat, 32 carbs, eight grams of fiber, and 16 grams of protein. And usually the serving is, I wanna say three points. There's five servings in it. So the whole thing is 15 points total. And usually when we make it, sometimes we split it, but sometimes we get like one extra leftover container. This, I usually think I get four servings total, but it just depends what I'm making. And I usually plug in the recipe to my phone and figure it out for points. But then we're completely out of pasta. So I needed to stock up on some protein plus two, which is our all time favorite pasta now. And so I got bow ties, elbows, and penne. And for this, usually it's a four point serving for two ounces. Sometimes I do a three ounce serving for both of us. And so it's a six point serving, which is not bad for a good portion of pasta. It's 190 calories for that serving, one gram of fat, 38 carbs, five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar and 10 grams of protein. So it's got some extra protein in it and it's lower point, but to me it tastes the most like regular pasta. We actually just had some regular pasta the other day and we were talking about how it tastes the exact same as this. So I really don't notice much of a difference. Whereas when we have bonza pasta, which we still like, but you definitely do taste more of a chickpea flavor and it's not as much just like plain pasta. Okay, then this is just a random cereal we have really been enjoying lately. So I think we first got it at Fresh Time, then they also have it at Trader Joe's, but we got it at Woodman's today. And they're just Panda Puffs, so they're peanut butter flavored. And for the serving of one cup, it's five points, although I don't usually use a full cup. I've been using this on my yogurt instead of Kashi, or I pretty much switch it up with the Kashi but I usually just weigh out a two point serving. For the serving of a cup, it's 170 calories. It's got four and a half grams of fat, 31 carbs, three grams of fiber, nine grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. And it's just a good option that we've been enjoying. Okay, then Adam needed some more of these Kodiak crunchy granola bars. These are the chocolate chip flavor. For the pouch with two bars in it, it's seven points on WW. It's 210 calories, eight grams of fat, 25 carbs, two grams of fiber, 11 grams of sugar, and 10 grams of protein. And they have a few other flavors but he likes the chocolate chip ones they're convenient for him to bring to work and they're actually a little bit more filling than regular granola bars i realized i forgot to show these two i also got some taco seasoning we needed to stock up so i just like to get the taco bell brand the mild and then i got this one to try this time the chicken taco which i think i've had it before but i just thought i'd get some more okay then my favorite flavor of actually i don't know if it's my favorite flavor i think it is but Anyway, of these Drizzlicious rice cakes is salted caramel. So these are 90 calories for about 21 pieces. They're two and a half grams of fat, 15 carbs, four grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. And they're four points for that serving. So they are vegan, they are allergen free, and they're gluten free. And it's just a good sweet snack when I'm craving something like this. So we haven't gotten these in a while, so I'm excited that we found these. Usually I order them off Amazon, but I was happy to see them in stores. They are at Walmart sometimes too. And then the last thing we got, some Liker. So I got my favorite pancake puff corn. This is six points for the serving. And then I also got some white cheddar, which is five points. They are both just super good. This one tastes like pancakes. It's a good dessert sweet option when I want something like that. And then the white cheddar is also really good and we haven't had it for a while. It is 150 calories for three cups, nine grams of fat, 15 carbs, one gram of fiber, three grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. And then this one is 150 calories, nine grams of fat, 17 carbs, one gram of fiber, four grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. They're gluten-free and just a good salty sweet snack option that we like to get. <sighs> okay, so that is everything. I actually went through that pretty quickly for how much it actually was, but got a lot of stuff and I'm feeling really, really good about the week and just being able to make meals at home especially and even prep some stuff. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>